nearly a year since Olympus first introduced the EPL1 and we're already on the third incarnation of the light series of digital pens. Olympus really is milking this cash cow. They're releasing cameras quicker than Nikon released crappy Coolpix cameras. But perhaps Olympus is trying to do what the fashion brands are doing, changing the trends every season. The EPL2 is out, the EPL3 is in. But the Olympus EPL3 is quite a pretty little thing. People with impossibly high cheekbones and look good in potato sex will love this. It's chic, it's modern, and it's quite feminine. Let's face it, this camera is aimed towards the female market. So let's do this review in a kind of female point of view. Kind of. For half a day only, I'll try to get into the mindset of a stereotypical local young lady. Oh, so cute! Look at that! That's great! Oh, oh my god, look! So pretty, those colours! Amazing! It's pink and raspberry and passion fruit! Oh my god! See, the EPL3 has got a tilty, swivelly screen, which means I can just take a picture like this. I don't need to put my head down like that, so I can just look up straight like normal. Oh, look at that. That's pretty, isn't it? The tilty screen is for low angle and high angle shooting, not particularly useful for anything else. I shall eat like a proper, delicate flower lady. See, Olympus, the EPL2, they, didn't, they had poppy uppy flashy, but this one you have to put it on the hot shoe like that, which makes it look well cool, isn't it? Getting rid of the poppy uppy flash means that Olympus could design the body smaller, but sometimes it's a bit fiddly having to resort to a tiny little add-on flash. That's great! Oh my god! Ergonomically, the new metal outer feels nice, but if you're doing self-portraits, it always feels like it's going to slip out of your hands. I'll do that with my Facebook pro profile photo later. <laughs> Shit! There's no fish balls! <laughs> it's not open! <sighs> oh, I'm not happy now! It's not focusing. I mean... It's not focusing! Oh yeah. Looks sad, looks sad, but... I mean, looks sad, but cute at the same time. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Lambie on the street. Can you take a picture for me? I would like to make a heart shape. Yeah. Oh, hungry, hungry. Hungry hippo and eat some food. That's fake. See, the thing with the tilty, swivelly screen is that it's actually no use because when you do self portraits, you can't see the screen anyway. So uh, I have to just guess wide angle. Oh, look, it's some of my school friends. My school friends. Hello. Okay, so what, what photo should I do next, Lambie? Oh my god. Uh, I mean, oh my god. F off. <laughs> there you go. Boom. Candy magic. It's pretty good. But you can't use a totally swivelly screen for that. And also, this has got less resolution than the EPL2. A 16 by 9 460,000 dot screen over the previous 3 by 2 614,000 dot screen. What are they playing at? Now we come to we come to a famous shopping city mall thingamajig called the the one apparently. But the funny thing is, is that 100, not the one. Oh, never mind. Oh. Perfect. But the thing is, this is 16 by 9 aspect ratio screen. But this is micro four thirds and everything's in 4 by 3, so it looks weird with black borders there. <laughs> Get Woo! Got to make. Oh, hang on. Look at that. Looks good enough to eat. Now, the EPL3 has got art filters, but it's actually got four less than the EPL2. <laughs> uh, but we still got some of the fun ones. 
I don't even know what cross process means anyway. Pale light and colour, light tone, gentle sepia and cross process filters have all been ditched. Oh, let's do diorama, so not diarrhea. Diorama, so it makes it look like it's really small. Well, it kind of is when you compare it to the size of the world. So, yeah, the design is pretty cool, although it kind of looks a bit like the Sony NEX with this bit, the add on flash, and even this chrome cock of a ring. And of course, the tilty, swivelly screen itself. But the thing is, I think the Sony NEX actually looks better than this. After having some beef for lunch with a pint of ale, I felt a bit more myself. So I topped it up with something sweet. In terms of the body, they both have their pros and their cons. I mean, the Geo 3 has got an internal poppy-uppy flash whereas the EPL3 is all shiny and metal-y. But in terms of size, the Panasonic G3 is probably just a little bit smaller. In terms of width, it's slimmer and thickness. Just a bit slimmer because the EPL3 actually has that tilty, swivelly screen which makes it thicker. And of course the EPL3 comes with a zoom lens which makes it not very handbag friendly. There really isn't that much difference in terms of image quality. Mind you, I still think that higher ISOs, Olympus has the edge when it comes to image processing. And the EPL3 has got an improved burst rate. It's got 5.5 frames per second over the 3 frames per second of the EPL2. So I can take loads of shots of myself in a sequence. Five of them per second. Oh, being a girl for half a day, I've kind of enjoyed a camera. But as a guy, I actually think it's quite a decent camera as well. Although I don't quite get how they've kind of blatantly copied Sony because they started off this whole micro four thirds thing. They started this whole trend. So why bother copying Sony with this whole tilty swivelly screen? And even this bit looks exactly like the Sony camera. In terms of looks, it's quite good. Does it do it for me? Not really. As a girl, it's alright. But I'd rather have some flowers and a nice bit of yogurt and some puppies and kittens playing with each other. <laughs> oh, let's go home. For some, they will love the way it looks and feels. From the front, it's quite a pretty looking camera, which guys can appreciate too. Olympus has lightened the in-body features of the camera to live up to its name, with the EP3 now being the pen with the most stuff. It's still an excellent performer though, with decent image quality, but the decision to buy this or the EP3 is going to be more about the features that you can see on the outside of the camera. For me, the EPL3 is a bit like this female character, fine for half a day, but more than that, and I'd rather it be something else. <laughs>